starting with the social media app TikTok because its chief executive has vowed to keep on fighting after the US House of Representatives passed a bill that could see the app banned in America. Xiao Zichu released a video on TikTok threatening legal action and warning if the bill becomes law it will mean the end of TikTok for its 170 million users in the US. We'll hear more from him in a moment but first of all here's our US business correspondent Aaron Delmore, who is covering the developments on Capitol Hill. The House vote sets the stage for what could become an ultimatum to TikTok's Chinese-owned parent company, ByteDance. Sell off the app, or it will be banned. Now, there's a ways to go between here and there. The bill needs to go through the Senate, where it faces an uncertain future. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has been non-committal about whether he'll bring it up for a vote. And some senators have already vowed to vote against it. If it does move through the Senate, President Biden has said he'll sign it. Proponents of the bill argue that TikTok is a national security threat and that the app's 170 million U.S. users are vulnerable to data theft by the Chinese government. The priority here, though, is, is national security and, again, Chinese access to, to millions of Americans' minds. Like that's, that's what the primary issue is. Is there trade-offs when you deal with an issue like that? Yeah, there's trade-offs. Former President Donald Trump used to back this idea, but this week he changed his tune, saying that while TikTok poses security and privacy concerns, banning the app would be a boon for Facebook, which he called an enemy of the people. And with that, a national security, free speech, and youth issue also becomes a campaign issue. Keep TikTok! Keep TikTok! Protesters took to Capitol Hill on Wednesday in support of TikTok. Do you have any concerns about China tapping into uh, people's phones or security risks from China? Absolutely not. If I, if I had any concerns about China, I would have the same concerns about right here in America sharing and selling our data, too. A few issues remain. If President Biden signs the bill into law, it's almost certain to be challenged in the courts. A forced sale would need the OK of the Chinese government, and they've said no. And even if it went ahead, the question of who would buy it? Nearly all of the major U.S. tech companies are in the midst of antitrust lawsuits or facing likely ones, making the notion of purchasing a platform with 170 million users unlikely. Individuals, companies or groups could take it up, but past deals have fallen apart. If the bill becomes law and TikTok isn't sold in around six months, it will be blocked from U.S. app stores and Internet service providers. Well, let's hear more now from the TikTok chief executive, Sho Zi Chu, who's vowed to keep fighting to save the platform in the US. Here's some of what he posted a few hours ago. Hi, everyone. It's Sho here. Just wanted to share some thoughts with our US users about the disappointing vote in the House of Representatives. There has been a lot of misinformation, and I hope to clarify some things. First, Thank you to our incredible community. You are what makes TikTok so special. Thank you for making your voices heard. Over the last few years, we have invested to keep your data safe and our platform free from outside manipulation. We have committed that we will continue to do so. This legislation, if signed into law, will lead to a ban of TikTok in the United States. Even the bill sponsors admit that that's their goal. This bill gives more power to a handful of other social media companies. It will also take billions of dollars out of the pockets of creators and small businesses. It will put more than 300,000 American jobs at risk, and it will take away your TikTok. So, is TikTok a threat to national security or not? I asked Jasmine Enberg, who's social media analyst at the consultants eMarketer. Well, it depends who you ask, of course. And right now, what I can say is that we are closer than ever uh, to a TikTok ban than we have been here in the US. And there are several reasons for this. One is that the momentum for holding the platforms accountable for real world harm, especially against young people, of course, which are heavy users of TikTok, is at an all time high. We're also in an election year, which adds a sense of urgency to all of this. And urgency is certainly something that we saw in the House with how swiftly it passed the bill, uh, bill today. I do think that the bill will face more hurdles in the Senate. So even though we're closer than we've ever been to a TikTok ban, there are still a lot of ifs and a lot of things that need to happen before this could become a reality. 
I mean, when you look at the investors in TikTok, they're powerful organizations. Some of them are US-based. They, they won't be happy about this, of course, the value of their investment massively reducing if it's banned in the States. Yeah, and there would be a lot of beneficiaries also of, of a TikTok ban. I mean, there's a long list of companies, you know, that would potentially benefit, Meta being one of them. We were doing some preliminary analysis, and if the ad dollars that were spent on TikTok were reallocated, Meta would get a fair share of them. To be fair, um, at a marketer, we are predicting that TikTok will rake in about $9 billion in U.S. ad revenues this year. So any growth that Meta would see would be incremental. But there are other companies that would benefit from this too, whether that's a Snapchat or CTV players or retail media players, all of which are in competition with TikTok right now.